Hi and welcome. This is Eric, and today I'm going to show you guys how to extract, transform, and load data to data warehouse. So on the previous video, we saw the way we uh, extracted the data, for example, from a text file to uh, data files. So if you take a look at this, we just extracted and loaded the information. We really didn't transform any. So on this video, uh, what I'd like to show you guys how to extract. So um, let's go to Visual Studio. So this is my previous package. And uh, um, um, if you guys don't know how to do this, please watch my previous video. But technically what it does is it gets the information from a text file and then it loads that information to our data rails. So I'm going to break this apart and I'm going to transform this information before we reload. So if I preview my data, I do have a row six to 10, or oh, employee ID uh, six to 10, and I see the names here, they've been capitalized, capitalized. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to transform this. I'm gonna change this to uppercase, okay? And uh, to do that, I am going to look for this uh, derived column. Okay, so uh, what does derived column do? Create a new column values by applying expression to transform input column. Okay, so technically it creates a new column and then you can use that column to load the information. Okay, um, so Let's pull this here, and then we're gonna have to put an input. And then all we need is, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this. So I'm gonna say, um, play name, uppercase. That's what we're gonna be doing now. We're gonna be converting or changing um, this employee name to uppercase. Okay, so I'll go in there and I'll go to strings. We do have uh, a lot of functions. So like this function here, we could easily use on SQL statement, we do have this raw function. And if you look at it, it says um, converts, returns a character expression after converting uppercase characters to raw case. Okay, we can use this on SQL. So if you are getting data from SQL or maybe um, other Russian database, you can use this. But uh, you cannot really use this function or built-in function um, in uh, a text file. For example, now you're getting data from a text file, we cannot really use SQL function. So that's why we are forced to use derived column here. So we are changing our employee names to uppercase so let me go look for uppercase it's right here and you can see returns a character expressions after converting lowercase character to uppercase so i'm just gonna go ahead and draw drag and drop to expressions now you can see a new column is added here i'm gonna go to the left hand side get my column name and this is gonna be employee and i will click i'll just put in there so this is the same SQL syntax we use in SQL. You can easily, I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So if I come here to SQL Management Studio, let's say we do have a table here, which is employee. So use test VB, go select all from employees. So we do have four or five employees. I can easily type upper and then a same employee name. So if you execute this, I'll get all these upper. But um, we are not getting um, our information from uh, our SQL server, we're getting from a uh, 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 text file. So most of the times, um, you may uh, uh, need to use 
uh, the live decorum which is within um, uh, SSIS to accomplish your task. So in here, you can see the live decorum as a new column or you can replace the existing one. I like to see both of my columns, so I usually uh, give it the same name, but that's my preference. So I say employee name, and then I append with something like new, so that I know this is the new employee name. Okay, you can modify the data link and all that, and then this looks good. If there are some errors, you're gonna see it red or something, and let me add something, weird character. So when you have an error, um, this will be red and it will tell you what the error is. Okay. So when you move to the next row, this will be fine. Looks good. You click OK. Now I'm going to load this information. I'll connect these two. Once it's connected, it's complaining here, I can tell. I can go back in here, go to mappings. Most of people are, are new uh, developers or new um, to SSS, they usually forget to uh, modify your employee name. So if you can look at the mappings here, employee name to goes to employee name but we really need this new employee name here to get attached so if you click ok you're gonna see the error is gone and um, we, we are ready to execute our package so we right click and execute and we see five rows have been executed So if I go back to my table, um, and uh, um, our table is, our database is testdb data rails, and we just need to select our rows from that, and we'll see the rows which we imported are all capital. So in this video, I was showing you guys how to really um, transform the information before loading to your details. Thank you very much. You have a nice day.